Hello guys, so welcome back to the Beyond Sky VFX channel. Our today's tutorial is about the most used gizmo in the industry, which is always have been the helpful to uh, all the studios out there and to the many compositing artists, which is PMAT. This one. So before we know about that gizmo, uh, I will show you what uh, normally the beginners do. So let's see for example Here I am taking the grid uh, Not on this one Ok so uh, Let's say you have to particularly reduce down this one And specifically uh, sort of this part Like this much And most of the beginner artists will uh, Make the roto for this separate part right let's say uh, we want to create down this particular part and uh, we are creating the yeah they will create roto something like this and uh, after they they will create down and uh, they will just feather like this and uh, uh, what they will do is like they will go to each frame and animate that roto like this so this is very time consuming and this is also not that much helpful to be honest so this is wrong way this is why today we are going to discuss that tool which is always been helpful to create masks sort of this which is known as P mat position mat which works based on the position pass so here in the position data we have to select P which is position yeah first of all this gizmo requires position pass to generate the mask so let's say uh, we will pick the color picker here and uh, let's say I will yeah pick this area and now if I go to the alpha channel and uh, you will see that uh, I am getting a bubble mask and yeah uh, you can actually go to anywhere of the area wherever is, uh, wherever is your position data and you can increase the scale of this mask like in the uniform scale which will increase it overall and in the scale of XYZ so like in the X axis and uh, also on the Y axis like this and also on the Z axis so you can just color pick around here anywhere like what area you need to color correct so using this gizmo you can pick any of the area you want to color correct separately and uh, you don't need to actually create the roto masks for uh, all of that masks so this saves a lot of time and this is also a very professional way to use and uh, this is actually the best way to do that uh, we can also rotate this mask in the 3d like this in the any of the axis right now it's giving us the spherical shape and in the matte shape we can also get the cube one so if I decrease the fall off you will see it's square so there are two options spheric and cube so it's up to you and uh, your need how do you want it and there are multiple filters for the fall off type F smooth linear quadratic cubic exponential none whichever suits your need and uh, this is fall off how strong do you want the alpha in the center and uh, fall off so let's say uh, I will go to this uh, direct to maybe uh, yeah here ok so I will take a grade node here for example let's say kill this much area of light and what I will do is I will take the PMAT node I will connect it to the main input and uh, here position uh, color picker and holding control and left click here we are getting it and I will scale it in the y axis and also in the x little bit in z also 
and uh, I will decrease the feather so I will get the strong alpha yeah this much is good for me uh, let's okay so uh, yeah you can see it works pretty fine now uh, instead of creating just the roto and this will also like stick together till the end you don't even have to animate the position of it that's why it is being the best useful thing you can see uh, okay to explain in much better way I will show another example as well uh, let's say for this spaceship which I have done a little long time ago so I will take a P mat node here okay and uh, same the position data and also the color picker let's say I want to mask out this much area this circular one right now it's too much tiny so I will increase the uniform scale and also in the X and Y axis I will make it like 100 yeah now I can see uh, yeah so you can see it's working fine now okay and now I can increase the grade of this this is just an example okay guys so just to show you okay so here is the most challenging part that we are going to face now because uh, in this shot uh, there is no object like it's morphing or it's uh, being animated or something like that it's just the world position pass you know first of all there are two kind of position pass one which is world position pass and the second is object position pass first one works on the based of world position pass and the second one is which is called reference position pass uh, in the reference position pass it gives us the data along with the uh, it's the movement of the character okay uh, like any object is moving or something so let's say I will play this uh, in this like this much area and uh, you will see the difference so you can see the mask is not being corrected at this point you know it's not moving along with that uh, because in this I have selected the P data okay uh, which is world position pass so to being animated with it we have to render reference position pass which is different than the position so I have also rendered the PREF which is known as reference position pass based on the object position pass so if I select that here and uh, now if I select the mask again and now if we see it you can see it's moving along with it see so this is why it's the best tool you know you don't have to like make the roto and animate along all the like 200 frames and yeah I will show you one more thing uh, why this tool can be very very useful and it's like uh, damn good because let's say uh, in here this frame I guess yeah so I want to darken out this uh, part of the this cylindrical area so what I will do is just that same process yeah okay so here we get this and let's say you darken it out yeah this is just for an example okay so now if I go back to the uh, previous frames and uh, if I on of this uh, it's actually after this cylindrical you know so you don't have to create the another roto to stencil out this much area 
uh, and you also don't have to animate the shapes because it is already going behind this door or something and if you go to the more first frames uh, let's say for let's say here and yeah i will increase the gain here you can see it's not working here because it's going after that uh, this door area or i don't know what to call it but as soon as we go to this frame 150 we will see the difference you can see it's uh, also stenciling out this much part uh, this is just an edge issue uh, we can just solve it using the erode or blur or anything so this is the tech check part we are not going to discuss that one as of now so i hope you have uh, got this tool so now i will show you how i have used this tool in my own personal projects uh, especially in this one so you can see i have used this gizmo a lot like it's uh, everywhere uh, i have taken advantage of it creating masks such as uh, it must be here yeah you can see yes creating such things and uh, yeah here as well this can be a very good example to show you so in this uh, here uh, i have selected separate areas for this uh, holes kind of things because it was like jittering and all so I selected all that uh, that blank areas and I stenciled out. You can see here the difference is this, and uh, here also. Uh, this tool is uh, like amazing for any look development. So I suggest you to use this in your projects. It's very very helpful and useful for the personal projects and for the commercial and anything, even for the industry. Uh, let's say uh, I want to uh, grade down this bottom part to show some shadows kind of thing. So I just, you know, uh, covered this much part of that spaceship and. Uh, grid it down a bit you can see yeah in this also like uh, if i show you now turning all of that and showing you before and after how does it look without that uh, p mat yeah you can see it was like all flat and i also added some textures using that yeah and some lights in the bottom yeah so that's all for the today's videos guys thank you so much for watching this video and uh, share it to your friends and your artist fellows all of them so they can also know this gizmo which is uh, very helpful to any projects so again thank you very much like this video comment your feedbacks and subscribe this channel for more such tutorials thank you goodbye